Hello, my name is Tony and welcome back to Predicted. In today's episode, I'm gonna be talking to you about two new fragrances from the Middle Eastern fragrance brand, Paris Corner. So these are brand new and it is part of a premium line that they've just released. These are from their subsidiary brand called North Stag. And these fragrances are Sept and Wheat. Stay right where you are. The lovely people over at Aroma Concepts got in touch to ask me if I'd like to review a couple of new fragrances that they've just released on their website. And I have reviewed some fragrances from their website previously, and they are genuinely lovely people to deal with. And pretty much all the stuff I've tried from them, I've been very happy with. And I always get excited to receive Middle Eastern fragrances because you don't know what you're getting. And I think it is part of the sort of excitement of not knowing exactly what is inside those really usually beautifully presented bottles. And I just find that lovely. So whenever I get the opportunity to review Middle Eastern fragrances, it's something I really enjoy doing. We're gonna start with what these are. So we've got set and we've got wheat. And I was amazed when I opened the box and I see the size of the boxes, I was really excited to get inside them. So what I'm gonna do, I'm actually gonna open and show you the presentation of the box. So the box on this, as you can see, it's got the blue on this one, and they're all x straights in this line. They are 100 mLs, so I would imagine very powerful fragrances. They have a slight sort of carbon print on the back, with the eight embossed on the back. Obviously, wheat meaning eight in French. I know my French is unbelievable. When you open this, it doesn't end with just the box. You get a lovely presentation box. Uh, it is a matte black finish on the box with lovely embossed, slightly raised North Stag and wheat on there i'm not sure if you can see that's raised and it says north stag at the top there limited edition series now when you open the box i'm trying to drop the bottle out that would be disastrous you'll see it's got north stag in the lid you get a card with the notes and tell you a little bit about the fragrance and then as you take the card away you get the beautiful bottle so let me take the bottle out i'll show you what that's like so it's got that hint of blue to the glass. It's a beautiful, heavy, really heavy bottle, actually. The glass is super heavy. Love the squareness to it. And it's got the really heavy glass base. And I love the cap, which has got that same print on the box. And then in the top, it says North Stag there. The back is completely blank and as is the base and the sides. So quite simple presentation, but very effective, looks very good. When you open the lid, which is actually plastic, but it's quite a heavy plastic, it is a good quality lid and it fit, fits on the bottle quite snugly. When you take that off, you get a black atomizer and the atomizers are fantastic. Let's start with number seven. Let me just read you the notes of this. So in the top, we have melon, cucumber, pineapple, bergamot, and blackcurrant. In the mid, we have patchouli, jasmine, sage, and basil. And in the base, we have musk, woody notes, vanilla, and ambergris. Do some of those notes sound familiar to you? Well, they should do, because this is inspired by Aventus. Don't leave just yet, because there's some good stuff coming. It's inspired by Aventus, but it's got a massive twist to this, a huge twist. Let me just give this a quick spray. The twist in this is that the pineapple note becomes more of a melon note. So it is a Ventus with melon, but it's an extract. It is quite a high oil concentration and you can really tell that when you get it on the skin, it leaves a slight sheen on you. It smells great, it smells brilliant, it smells fresh. It smells like a Ventus, like I've said, it's got a slight woodiness, but it's got this real punchy, beautiful fruitiness and the melon is the star of the show for me. It's a very unique take on Aventus. So it wouldn't be redundant if you have 
553 inspired by fragrances of Ventus already, like I do. This is a welcome 554th version. Uh, the melon, serious note, honestly, the melon is fantastic. It does give it a difference. So I won't go into too much more detail on this one because you all know what a Venta smells like and imagine that melon note along with it. Fantastic. I will leave the price on the screen here, available on the Aroma Concepts website. Obviously, I will leave the links below. On to wheat. Now, this one I am super excited to talk to you about. This has notes of pink pepper, bergamot, grapefruit, and lemon. The mid has saffron, cinnamon, and black pepper. And the base has tobacco, vanilla, leather, and vetiver. So is this inspired by anything? Yes, is the answer. This is inspired by Spice Bomb. I don't think you get many clones out there of Spice Bomb. Spice Bomb isn't an overly expensive fragrance anyway. But one thing I would say about newer releases of Spice Bomb, I have a new small bottle, is that on me, it lasts well, but it isn't very, very strong in terms of it doesn't last forever. This is a much more amped up, concentrated version of Spice Bomb. The spices in this are far more prominent. Now, when I first get this on the skin, I get this real, almost medicinal aniseed note. You know those fireball sweets that you used to eat? It smells a lot like that in the opening. It is very spice heavy. It does change on the skin over time. It does become that little bit more signature bubblegumness that you get from Spice Bomb. It manages to stay away from that normal design around and more towards the Middle Eastern vibe. And that is because of the strength of it. It is extremely strong, but it is extremely pleasant. I am honestly stoked to have this in my collection. So thank you, Aroma Concepts. This is fantastic. It is a slight bit woody in the base. I think it has a little bit of musk in there. I get this slightly sweet tobacco feel to it. I definitely get a lovely sweet vanilla in there too. So I wore it one day and I enjoyed it that much. I got a huge sillage off of it, a huge sort of projection for the first two, three, four hours. I sprayed it before I got in the car. It filled the car. It's able to do that without being too obnoxious or in your face. It really does leave a brilliant scent trail behind you. And I had wafts of this all day. Now, I enjoyed it so much on my first wearing, I wore it the next day as well. And it's fairly warm here. So I would expect this to be more of a autumn winter fragrance, but it does work well in sort of mild temperatures as well. One thing I would say is don't overspray it. I wouldn't put 10 sprays of this on. Three or four sprays is more than enough. A couple of sides on your neck and a couple on your arms will be enough to last you all day. I am thrilled. So thanks again to Aroma Concepts for sending two very, very solid releases from Paris Corner and certainly an interesting looking concept behind this sort of subsidiary branding. I am super intrigued if they're going to be doing them from number one upwards and I've just missed some. I know they got another one for definite, but I am very intrigued to see if they're going to be going up the range because they look fantastic on the shelf. The presentation along with the boxes they come in, I think to have a collection of these, and especially if they're as good quality as this, I think you wouldn't go far wrong. I think they're great value for money. So, couple of winners. I hope you liked the video. If you did, don't forget to like. And are you subscribed to the channel? Please do that. That would be amazing if you could do that. And one last thing, don't forget to keep smelling wonderful.